All right, all right. Thanks for stopping by. So I've left the grasslands and I'm now in the Tetons. Look how low the lake is. Looks like it's been that way for a while because the grass is starting to grow down there. It's really low, like 30 feet low. Look at those mountains. Now that's some beauty. So this is a pull-off that's closer to the lake's edge. Now that is majestic. So beautiful. So um, after I do my little tour around Teton Village and all that good stuff, I'm going to start looking for a campsite because I don't want to be looking for a site when it's almost dark. So I'm going to start up about 1 or 2 o'clock looking for a site. Keep your fingers crossed. Here's a wide-angle view. So you can see just how low the lake is. It looks like it's about 20 or 30 feet low from right up at the edge of the bank. Needs some rain. So yesterday it thundered and lightning all day, but very little rain, just a sprinkle of rain. If I keep pulling over every time I see something beautiful, I'm not going to go two miles today. So I've got to stop stopping every time I see a photo op. So I'm going to finish this scenic loop and start looking for a campsite. Check in when I find something. Well, it looks like my luck has run out. I just drove eight miles of the roughest dirt road I've ever been on. At, fir at first I thought, well, this is not even a road. This is just a dry creek bed. But it is a forest road, and this is the end of the line for me. I can't make it through that mud hole. So I've already turned around. I came in from this way and I just had enough room on the road to turn it around. If I'd have had a trailer behind me, it'd have been no go. So, I gotta go eight more miles back down this rough dirt road. I am just east of the Grand Tetons and I was told there was views up here of the, of the mountain ridges, but no, it's too much forest up here. But looking at the map, just on the other side of this mud hole is where the campsites start. <laughs> so I'm going to go back down to, I think it's Highway 89. I'm uh, down near a place called Moose, Wyoming, which is right outside of Grand Tetons Park. So I'm going to go back down to the highway and uh, hit it and go north. And I think I can catch back up with this road. If I do that, we'll try it and we'll see. <laughs> but you know, you can only be lucky for so long. Check back in when I find something. Well, it looks like my luck changed. So I did not go back to Highway 89. I took a right and after a total of about 30 miles on dirt roads, and this is the smoothest part, the rest was really rough. I found a beautiful place. Look at the mountain range in the background. The only gripe I got is the power lines kind of block the view. But hey, you can't have it all, and we got to have electricity. So this is my site. Beautiful spot here. This was worth the 30 miles of rugged terrain to get here. So you are looking west. The temperature is about 80 degrees. The elevation is about 7,100 feet. There's no shade here. I had to make my own by putting up the pop-up tent. And I'll probably also put up my shade tarp off the side of the van. This is where the road ends. But man, yeah, this is great. Uh, the stay limit here is for five days. And I think I'll probably do about three. And after that, I think I'm going to head back into Yellowstone for a couple more days. And then, who knows after that? I don't really have any plans. Let's check out the sign over here. Five day limit, like I said. Uh, if you poop out here, bury it <laughs> and keep your food away from the bears. 
and drowned out your campfires. All right, got it. I can handle that. Tons of grasshoppers here. I mean, there's swarms of them, but they don't bother anything. I'm fine with them. They're fine with me. Let's see, out in the distance over here, I see a travel trailer. Out on that ridge over there. That road goes on around that way. I do have a guy in a truck camper right up here, right off the main road. Seems like he would have chose this spot instead of right up there, 10 feet off the road. But you do you, truck camper man. If that's the spot you want, you go for it. But I'll take this spot. The sun is going to set right over the mountain range there. That's going to be a nice sight to see this evening. You know, it's crazy. All you need is one of these regular cargo vans. Build you a bed in the back of it. And you can venture out and do all this stuff too. It's amazing. You don't have to have a fancy high top Mercedes Sprinter. Even though I still drool a little bit when I see them. Gosh, they're so nice. But you don't have to have all that. Now, to make the trip enjoyable, you will need a battery bank and some solar. But everybody's comfort level is different. And, uh, you know, I did without a refrigerator for about two years. I just used a cooler from Walmart. But the refrigerator is a game changer, so I do recommend that. But it's amazing how much adventure this simple cargo van has brought to my life. It's taken me to so many beautiful places. It's just enough room. No room to spare, just enough. All right, my friends, let's wrap it up. Take care, be well, smash the bell.